Yeah, that that seems to be one of the most complex uh, abuses of power, because the the kind of power that you give someone when you allow them to be a police officer is literally the power to end life. Yeah. It's not just the power to kick you off of Twitter. It's the, the power to decide this this person who's just a regular person, no different than you or I, with all sorts of problems in their own life and stresses and strains and a disproportionate amount of strain and stress for the actual job that they do. I mean, it's a spectacularly stressful position to be in life. But yet you give them the ability to literally, with a finger pull, end someone's life. Um, I think that's being exposed in a way that we've, re because of these cell phone cameras and because of uh, social media, it's being exposed in a way that we no one ever would have ever dreamed uh, imaginable before. And exposing uh, how almost impossible it is to have that position as a human being. Uh, I mean, <laughs> this the position of power like that over folks and just to have a regular person with a, a normal psychology and, and not some incredibly brilliant Zen master who's in charge of, uh, you know, look, overseeing drug crimes or p pulling people over or, or, you know, assault or whatever it is. Uh, it's it, it, it. I don't know the solution to that. I You know, there's all sorts of things at play. Ignorance, foolishness, racism, anger. But at the end of the day, it's about a human being's ability to have massive amount of power by law over other human beings, which is always going to be a problem. It's just going to be a problem. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we've known about this, you know, there's aphorisms that go back a zillion years, you know, absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you give a monkey a stick. The first thing he's going to do is he's going to look for something to hit with it. Uh, but this is also, one of the things you asked earlier about, like, how I can be hopeful, how I can be idealistic when I see the scale of the problems, the challenges arrayed against us. When I understand not just that mass surveillance exists, but I understand the mechanics of it, I understand how systemic it is, I understand the resources behind it that want to prevent the change of it and instead want to entrench it and expand it to make it more powerful and have more influence over the direction of our lives. Uh, and down to this basic stuff about, you know, we are told that the cops are the best among us. People sign up to be cops, I genuinely believe, uh, because they want to serve and protect more so than they just want to be the big tough cop guy. Uh, and, and some people say, you know, that's naive. Some people say that's petty, but I, I think it's different. I think the reason that I feel this way, uh, the reason that I am okay with seeing how much we fail uh, seeing how much incivility and violence and, and just ignorance that we have in the world today is, is I have a lower expectation of the individual at the moment, uh, but a higher appreciation for their potential. Uh, and the reality is we are all inherently flawed. I'm a terrible person. Uh, and I, I think in a lot of ways, uh, you're not as good uh, as you want yourself to be. But I know that I have become a better person with time. You have become a better person with time. I think we all have and we all can, or those of us who have not could if they chose to, or if they had guidance, or if they had love or friendship, or someone who cared and directed Agreed. them and helped them become better. Uh, yeah. And that's, I mean, that is the story of human history because we were all the monkey and then we found a stick. Uh, we could use it to beat somebody or we could use it to build a bridge. But if you look around at the world today, there's a hell of a lot of bridges.